Okay, I have my generator that uh, won't start, so I hooked up a, a tester, ignition tester for the, uh, see if I got spark. I'm going to go ahead and crank it and see what we see. Okay, you can see I'm getting a spark. Watch when I crank it. You can see the spark. So it's firing okay. I have to find out what else is wrong with it. The air filter looks good. I just put a new air filter in it not even a year ago, so didn't expect that to be the issue. Yeah, this thing's always run pretty well, so I'm not expecting something too major. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take the coil carburetor. Okay, we're going to take these two posts out and then pull the carburetor off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this hose off. Now we're going to get this off the uh, spring off of here. Just be able to tilt it, comes off, and then there, that's the main latch, and then there's a spring that hooks. Okay, so the main latch was in the main wire. This wire piece here was in the big hole, and the spring was in the small hole. So we'll just leave those sit there. So we'll clean it all up and see what it does. Okay, I'm inspecting the carburetor and again, it looks fairly clean. Got some little small ports here. We're going to clean those out. I know you can't see anything in, inside of this port here. It's a metal seat down there. I can't see inside this one, but this one has a piece that screws out. Okay, and that's what's down in there. So we're going to clean all these little ports out with a small wire. Make sure they're all clean. This one here looks like it's plugged already. We're going to open all these up and make sure they're clean. This, this, uh, this car is off a Generac generator and it's about a 10 horsepower engine it's a wall wall bro number 54 5-4993 nine, nine, and uh <coughs> i was able to find a repair kit for it i couldn't find the original uh carburetor i was trying to buy a a wall bro carburetor I did find a Chinese built one, which I don't know whether to trust it or not. But it looks like the same carburetor. Only thing different is the uh, jet screw right here. And I think everything else is, is, is the same. So I bought a repair kit. I'm going to repair this, this original one, put it back on the generator. Then I'm just going to keep this one as a, as a spare. This thing only cost about... I think it was $17 online. So uh, it's probably worth what you pay for it. You know, I've heard a lot of people say these leak right out of the box and everything. So we're gonna test it here in a minute too. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put this one back together. We have a new bowl, a new plug, <clears throat> new float. So we have the bowl gasket. <clears throat> a new plug for the bowl. New gasket, a new pin. And they gave us two different jets.
one is just a flat top here and one has a little spring loaded uh, pin here on the top. That's the one we're going to use. You see that's the original that was in there. And what happened was the rubber coated tip probably got damaged by ethanol over the years. Again, it's 23 years old. So this looks like the right replacement. Um, see, it's got the little rubber tip on it, the right replacement for it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put all these back together. First thing we're gonna do is put our main assembly in the middle here. So we got that main jet assembly back in there. So now we're going to go ahead and put our float assembly back on. We have the needle valve on the float. Just going to let it sit right back in place. Put our pin in. We have our new pin in, in place. And put our new gasket on. And be careful with the gasket. New bowl cover. And on the gasket there, we have our new plug. And we have a 7 uh, nut here, so we're just going to tighten it back up. Okay, we have it ready to go. Okay, I have a little pressure tester, so we're going to go ahead and pressure test. See if the, uh, with that float pushing that direction, that needle valve should seal off. So pressure them up to about 10 pounds. And we're just gonna let it sit here and and see uh, if it bleeds off or not. And it is slowly bleeding off. So what we didn't do, we didn't wet the tip of the the needle. And sometimes you need to do that for it to seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. We're gonna go ahead and do that and then see if it holds pressure. While I'm at it though, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and pressure test this new replacement one. Again, let's see what it does. And this one won't hold pressure as good as the old one did. You see, as I pump it up, it's it's rapidly falling. So it probably needs some some liquid on the needle also. Just and the problem you have if you fail this pressure test, then on these generators, your your gas tank is above the carburetor. So what's going to happen is if it doesn't seal off, then your gasoline and your gasoline tank can gravity drain through that little needle valve seat and it's going to flood the the engine and you're going to end up getting gasoline into your oil uh, which is not a good situation so uh, we want these to need to make sure they're sealing before we we use them go ahead and take Take the needle back out and make sure I got oil. Make sure the needle is wet. So what we're gonna do is just gonna take our pin out.
I'll put a drop of oil in there. So now we know the seat should be wet. We'll see if it we'll see if it does any better. Time I'm going to test it with the uh, with the bowl off of it. No use putting it back on. I'll see what it does. Okay, so you can see the needles at. 10 PSI. And we're just going to let it sit here and see what it does. Okay, she's holding pressure now. So it was the, the reason it failed the first pressure test is not having liquid around the metal seat in the new needle valve. Just need a little bit of liquid there to help it seal. And uh, looks like we're in good shape now. We're gonna go ahead and put this back together. Okay, we're ready to put this back on the, uh, back on the engine. Okay, I'm gonna take this one apart. We're gonna wet this, this valve too. Okay, so we got two carburetors ready to go. Again, hopefully the old one works, and I'll just keep this one here as a possible spare. This carburetor lasted 23 years, so it was well made by Walbro. And uh, again, wish I could buy the original, but I guess they don't make them anymore. So you gotta buy the Chinese. But out of both of these, we should get it running. Okay, we're gonna do a compression test today. I've already worked on this generator and rebuilt the carburetor. So we know the carburetor's not bad. Also, I know we have spark. So I'm thinking we have low compression. We're gonna check it today. I already have the gauge hooked up. And I'm gonna spin it here with my drill. And... Okay, let's see what we get. Hey, we're not getting any compression at all. Okay, with no compression at all, we know we got either a problem with the uh, valve seats or we have a issue with the head gasket. So we're gonna pull the heads off and see what we get. Okay, this video is already getting too long. So we're gonna make the uh, low compression repair a second video. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.